another beautiful day and a great day for a drive. This is a 2021 Bronco Sport Outer Banks, an iconic silver with navy pier interior, seating for five, four doors and a hatch with flip up glass. It also has a 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine, an eight speed automatic transmission, and it's a four by four. It has the GOAT system, which is goes on all terrain. So it'll adjust to the climate and road conditions. As well, it has a reverse camera, heated steering wheel, and so many more features. So if you'd like to take this out on a test drive, you can book it online at islandford.ca. And stay tuned, we're gonna have a look under the hood. This is a 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine, and it's paired with an eight speed automatic transmission. Let's have a look inside. I don't see too many of these Bronco Sports right now, so I've kind of snuck this one out to show you what it looks like. And the inside has lots of great features. So in the door, you've got your storage as well as the badging for the B&O audio system with your speaker. You have power locks, windows, and mirrors, and the driver's seat is powered with lumbar. You're seeing these nice navy pier seats and the little Bronco stitched in there. I really love the look of this. Again, the floor mats are a little bit different and have the Bronco Sport emblem on them. You have the release for your lift gate and your lighting controls. The steering wheel can tilt and telescope. And on the face of the steering wheel, you have your cruise control, you have your lane keeping over here, volume for your media, you've got your menu, and hands-free dialing. And this is a push start. So my foot's on the brake, keys in the pocket, and we're gonna push the engine start stop button. On the dash, you're gonna see any important messages. I just opened the lift gate, so it's just reminding me to close that uh, lift gate or the glass is ajar. I didn't quite close it, so I'll do that in a moment. Trip one, and we can go through the different options. And let's go back up to the top here. Select screens, audio, navigation, phone, settings, and display setup. And these all have submenus. In the center, you're seeing the screen that's up a little bit higher, easy to see. I'm just gonna turn down the volume because sometimes it pops on, there we go. And we're gonna go into the sources, AM, FM, Sirius Satellite Radio, as well as Bluetooth. You also have your navigation, just again, touch of the screen. Right now it's got a protector on it, that's what that red line is. And you have your settings as well. And again, I've got this screen protector on there, so it may take me a second. But normally when you touch the screen, you have um, the ability to go into the different options. So Wi-Fi, automatic updates, your Bluetooth there again. And when we put our vehicle in reverse, this is where we're gonna see the backup camera view. There you go. There's your hazard lights, volume and tuner. And you have your uh, little area to put items. And there's your engine start stop button as well. And then dual climate control for both driver and passenger and it's digitally displayed, which is really nice. Heated seats for both as well. And you've got a heated steering wheel. You have your front and rear defrost and AC and max AC. So you're basically ready for anything. You have a wireless charging pad, your USB, USB-C and 12 volt. And this just is a, a good feature that you're seeing in the, the newer vehicles. There's lots of different ways to connect and power up. We know that you use your devices. You need a place to power them up when you're heading out on the trail, especially if you're in a nice vehicle like this, you're probably gonna be out for a while. There's your dial shifter and electronic parking brake and the auto hold. This has a class two trailer tow hitch. And so if you're on an incline or you're towing, you would use that. And there's your goat modes, love the acronyms. So as we dial through, it goes on all terrain and you're just gonna see it appear on your dash. So normal and eco, sport, and you notice they change look, slippery. And I think I've got to the end there. And then you've got your sand and then back around again. So you just dial in. So as your climate changes, train changes, uh, you can adjust to that and be ready for anything. A couple of cup holders and you've got your ambient lighting. That's those little uh, rings there. Open up your armrest. Lots of room in here. USB, USB-C. As I mentioned, lots of places to connect your devices and you've got your glove compartment. Then up above, auto dimming rear view mirror. You've got your lighting controls and as well sunglass holder. And there's a power moon roof. And so we can open that and slide that open so you can control your fresh air. And as well, you've got a screen so you can power that across as well. If you want less light, it's really bright out. 
and there's a grab handle on the passenger side that just makes it easier to get in. 18 inch wheels, body color door handle with intelligent access, meaning when the fog's in close proximity, you can lock and unlock the doors and keyless entry keypad, driver's side capless, easy fuel gas filler. In the back, you've got a windshield wiper and just below the handle is where you have your backup camera. To the right is a little triangle, if you will, that lets you know to open up the hatch. And on the left is a little triangle that tells you about the glass so you can release it that way. You also have backup sensors on your bumper and a class 2 trailer tow hitch and when you want to open up that back hatch you can do so by releasing the hatch by double clicking your fob. You can release it from inside and you can also put your hand underneath for the door. So it's right here. There's a little button and it just lifts right up and you've got this all weather mat with a pony on it, which is quite nice. And you have hooks and tabs to be able to tether things. There's a 12 volt off to the side and you have your lights on the other side. And then when you're ready to close it all up, there's a handle to the right or the left. Simply put your hand in and pull down. But before I do that, look off to the side here. That's a bottle opener. And just close it up you can then lock it up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure and on your fob you have remote start storage and speaker in the door as well as power windows there's seating for three in the back with a 60 40 split you can bring down the headrest with a push of a button and then push the button at the back of the seat here it'll bring it right down you now have access to the back cargo area you're seeing that nice all-weather mat with your pony on there and on the back of the seats are anchors to be able to tether baby seats you also have these covers that snap on and that keeps everything nice and clean and then just flip the seat back up and flip up the headrest in the center is an armrest with a couple of cup holders all-weather mats on the floor and again with that nice pony design in the center and you've also got these zippered pouches in the back to put items. Keeps everything out of sight. 110 volt below and air vents in the center. You're seeing your moonroof up, up top. Handles and hooks as well as your dome lighting. Class 2 trailer tow hitch. Privacy glass in the back windows. Roof rails. Powered side view mirrors with blind spot information system. LED headlights, fog lights and so many more reasons to visit us. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty of vi videos to share with you and we love to hear your comments.